During active thyroid eye disease, the inflammation causes a lot of waterlogging, uh, a lot of fat and fluid will come forward and fill the lids. As uh, inflammation converts to fibrosis towards uh, the latter end of the disease, then lids can be either elevated or depressed, exposing the eye more from the fibrosis, as a result of which it's more difficult to close the eye and protect it. Lid surgery usually comes at the end of uh, quite a considerable series of operations, uh, depending on what the patient requires, if they need a decompression that has to be done first, if they need uh, movement, uh, eye movement, muscle surgery that has to go next and then lids are usually operated on last when those two surgeries have been done and indeed if they need it by then. Also if they don't need those first two or don't need both, the surgery is usually done when the active phase of the disease is over and often if the disease is caught early and treated medically lid surgery may not in fact be necessary because the lid surgery is aimed at correcting the fibrosis which is a static final event. What can be done for patients who have loose skin or puffiness around their eyes? The amount is assessed according to need at the time of surgery. If the puffiness is due to fluid nothing can be done about that because you cannot operate on water. Fat prolapse, however, or an increase in fat volume can be debulked at the time of surgery. As far as lid skin is concerned, only the amount of skin that is spare or in excess will be removed because one thing you don't want to do is jeopardize the ability for the lids to close. The surgery involved in upper lid retraction or lower lid retraction is different. In upper lid retraction, depending on the amount of retraction, there are a series of operations from mild to uh, severe, if you like, that uh, dehiss or separate the scar tissue from the lid margin tissues to allow it to drop. If the uh, lower lid is pulled down, then more often than not, particularly if there is a lot of white or scleral show showing below the colored part of the eye, then some sort of grafting material is put into the inside of the lift to elevate it and it is supported laterally, usually with a sling. The risks particular to the lid lifting or lid lowering, whichever way, whichever lid you're talking about, is getting the height and shape wrong. That is the commonest uh, difficulty. And uh, these operations are usually done under local anaesthetic, albeit with some intravenous sedation, because your chances of getting the height and curve right are better with the patient awake and being able to cooperate and look up and down than if the patient is asleep. On those that you do asleep for whatever reason, patient choice or any other reason, then uh, certainly for the upper lids, any lowering you would choose to do with adjustable sutures, which you then adjust when the patient is awake later. So uh, the, the, the commonest problem with this operation is getting the height and the curve wrong.